Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Ominous God Selections here for Monday, June 17th. Before we get into today's play of the day, quick recap what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in baseball with Andres Jimenez under half a run to minus 135 on bet MGM. The line actually exploded. It closed to like minus 190. Big reason for that was Jose Ramirez and now playing because he had a kid. So either way, when he got ruled out, the line exploded to about minus 190. But it ended up getting there as Jimenez went 0 for 5, never scored. So picked up a nice winner. Look for the winner here on Monday. For the actual play, though, do want to remind me once again that we have more picks on the Winners Winners website. So don't forget to go to the website when you do. Use the promo code uh, 9Y. H-U-J-G-T-35 to get 35% off. Code is also in the description. Plus, a reminder, hit the like button, subscribe to the bell, so you get notified, and you'll never miss an episode. Now, for the actual play, going to baseball once again, you'll look at a matchup between the Dodgers and the Rockies, taking place at around 8.40 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, going with a team total, actually, going to go with the Dodgers. First five team total under three and a half runs at minus 130 on DraftKings. Time recording of 10 a.m., Eastern time. Covering is why we're going to go with the Dodgers' first five team total under in this game. First reason the Dodgers offensively have really not been great lately, as they have scored less than five runs in five straight games, and they've also scored less than four runs in the first five innings in each of those five games. So even though the Dodgers have a lot of talent on paper in the lineup, recently they've not really been producing, and as a result, I do think this team total is a bit high. Plus, they're going to be a bit shorthanded for the foreseeable future, because Mookie Betts one of their best players fractured his hand yesterday, and he will be out indefinitely. If you go through his numbers, he has 10 home runs, 40 RBIs, and a 405 on base percentage. One of the best hitters in the entire league, and now he's out. So I do think the Dodgers offense should look a bit, I'd say, underwhelming uh, in his absence in the immediate future. But let's go through the actual pitcher for this game for Colorado. Pretty underrated option. You have Cal Quantrill, who's been really good lately. A last two starts, 11 innings pitched, zero earned runs. Uh, plus, you're also looking at Quantrill this season at home. Overall, he's been pretty good at Coors. So he's allowed less than four runs in four of his five home starts this season. I'm not saying he's going to pitch a lights out in this game, but the idea that the Dodgers, who have been struggling to actually score on a regular basis uh, recently, are now going to score four runs in the first five innings against a pitcher that's been solid at home and a pitcher that's allowed no runs in his last two starts. I just think it's asking a lot of the Dodgers, especially with Mookie out of the lineup. I think the Dodgers might get a couple across. Maybe they'll get to two or three. But getting to four over the first five seems like a little bit of a stretch to me. So I am going to go with the under. Now, I'm not going to take the full game under because the Rockies' bullpen is absolutely terrible. Instead, I'm going to avoid the bullpen, give me Quantrill, and I will fade this Dodgers offense, which has been struggling and is now without one of its best hitters. Well, then once again, here for Monday, June 17th, it's going to be on the Dodgers' first five. Team total under, three and a half runs, a minus 130 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.